Welcome back to the final part of tonight's Mustard Show. When are you going to tell me the first rule of Shed Club? All in good I time. I want to know. Beth. No, be patient. All in good time. But first, we wanted to ask you what weird and wonderful things you have stored in your shed. Mm. The craziest, wackiest thing I've had in the shed is a rally control car. But the most common thing I think that most people have in their shed is a lawnmower. Garden implements, yeah. Um, I, oh, I don't know, bags of grow, do-it-yourself grow things, plants, that sort of thing, yeah. I think the most common thing people keep in their shed is fishing gear. Okay, the strangest thing I've got in my shed is uh, two double beds, uh, fridge, freezer, washing machine. And the wackiest thing kept in our shed is a quad bike. <laughs> The most common thing in a garage, in a rock bag or whatever, is darkness. Well, I think the weirdest thing people might keep in the sheds is a coffin. <laughs> they might plan for food for they're into vampirism. <laughs> <laughs> An eclectic mix, <laughs> definitely. Wow. What is in your shed, Darren? Would you remember from previous shows? I've got uh, Connie and Sylvia. If you remember them, oh the yeah, lovely ladies we had before on the show. Creepy. Yeah, I've got them. In really myself. creepy. So enlighten me then. Time to tell me, okay. what is the first rule of Shed Club? Okay, Beth, the first rule of Shed Club is we don't talk about Shed Club. Oh, hang course. on, no, hang on, they're telling me in my ear. It's fine. <laughs> so we sent Tom Vince to help shout about one club in particular, Norwich Men's Shed. Now, every man deserves to have access to a garden shed. But if you don't have a shed, fear no longer, because the Norwich Shed Project is here to help. I think it's almost part of the male psyche, isn't it? Have a, I mean, people use their sheds for all kinds of things, you know, for their, for their collections and things. So there is something about that that I think uh, works for men. Norwich Men's Shed is quite literally exactly what it says on the old paint-spattered tin. The project opens its doors to all men who want to partake in classic manly-based shed construction project, but who unfortunately happen to lack that all-important garden-based man cave. As a man lacking in said shed, I asked if I could have a go and was taken under the wing of experienced woodworker Chris, that poor, poor man. We're going to be making a little decorative wooden candle holder, sort of thing that can hang on a wall and then have a candle inside it. Something every man can do. Oh, So that's Chris's side and that's my side. You can see there's a slight difference. Yeah. I, li I like to think that my side is, you know, it looks prettier. So after the first success, Chris has been kind enough to let me have another go. He hasn't taken the project away from me yet. Ah, it's on the line. It's actually on the line. Whilst I uh, fix my previous handiwork, <laughs> Go and have a look at what everyone else is doing. Pop it. Go. I have been making some book bookshelves and um, kitchen units and various things like that. And at the moment, we're in the process of making a frame up for one of the guys here. I'm just finishing off painting this windmill I've been working on since uh, the new year. Um, just putting the finishing touches to it, really. Uh, when the paint's dry, put it all together and then that'll be done. I have a shed, but it's full. I can't open the door without stuff falling out. It's not big enough to work in. But, um, so I come here and, uh, yeah, picking up a lot of tips. I think it both hits that sort of deep sort of psychological need within men to have a place where they can tinker and do things. But by actually providing it as a community type of facility, I think it brings men together in a way that maybe the pub used to do. You know, a place where men would go and just you know, be going somewhere, but getting the sort of, you know, the fellowship of being with other men. Currently doing a, a little bit of nailing, which let's face it, is possibly the most manly of all manly things that any man could possibly manly do, really. It didn't go well, but I think Chris was still impressed. So that's uh, Norwich Men's Shed Project. Great fun and perfect for the novice DIYer like me. So. Maybe something out there for all those men who don't perhaps own a shed. Personally, I like to think, nailed it. <laughs> Here's what Tom <laughs> knocked together. Well, it might be good for something. He now says it's a paperweight. He's changed his mind. It's a paperweight. Yeah, of course it is, Tom. I'll put it on the office fridge. <gasps> now, oh. of course, there is Cupid Old Shed of the Year competition. Let's see some of Tom's rivals.